What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Real Attraction Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we're here with another banger for y'all, man. So look. Gangster in Paradise. Taranaki Artie Fua Maono. All right, sorry if I just butchered that name, man. Um, and we also got Last Ride for a Uso in Paradise. Taranaki Artie Fua Maono. Sorry if I'm saying that name wrong, man, but... Uh, this was sent to me on IG at Sean W. Tyler. Man, get at me over there with any sort of uh, request you got, anything you want me to react to. Um, I had to figure out who this dude was, man. I was getting, I've done some recent, like, New Zealand, like, uh, uh, gang, you know what I'm saying, reactions and stuff. And I've done some more in the past, too. Um, so I was getting a lot of requests on these videos recently. And a few of you guys sent me this uh, Gangsta in Paradise video. Then I just happened to find this one. Um, as well, man. So we're going to check this out. Basically, when I looked up about him was that more than 300 mourners are at the funeral of Tar Taranaki Ardi Fuamaono. Um, the 43-year-old headhunters gang member who died shortly after being taken into police custody almost a week ago. His funeral is being held at the St. Joseph's Catholic Church on Great North Road in Great Lynn. All right, man. Um... I don't know the background on that police situation, but when I read that, it didn't sound good to me. It seemed like the police was on some funny business, some real funny, funky, you know what I'm saying, business. But I don't know exactly. the. It could have been his own little personal health situation. I don't really know. All right. If you guys got any information, factual information, let me know in the comments um, under this video what's going on and everything. All right. That's pretty much it. Um... It's my birthday tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. You're probably watching this on my birthday because I don't want to film my birthday. So um, I'm filming this the day before. But yeah, man, December 14th is my birthday if you are watching it today, man. Give me some good vibes in the comments. That's it, dude. Finally 28. Still under 30 squad for another uh, another two more years, man. But uh, yeah, let me know what's going on. Give me some good vibes in the comments, man, if it's the 14th, all right? That's it. Let's run this up, man. Let's see what they talking about. I also got a uh, another video, Flamed Up HHMC 2018. I'm about to do this video soon, too, so be on the lookout for that one, man. And go peep my Mongro Ma, man. Uh, New Zealand's most deadliest, or world's most deadliest. Go peep that as well, man. Let's get to this video see what they talking about. The funeral for a gang leader saw one of Auckland's main roads. The funeral for a gang leader saw one of Auckland's main roads jammed up by patched members blocking four lanes. Patched up. Parts of Greyland closed down, and traffic to be diverted. They were out in force for the funeral of Taranaki Fuimoa Ono, who died in police custody last weekend. 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 Damn, they got black power up in there. So I know they got headhunters. We got the Black Power in there. I'm sure the King Cobras is up in there. Maybe some mongrel mobs up in there. Yeah, the mongrel mob up in there. Who's this? Killer Bees? That's another crew. The Killer Bees. We got the Rebels. New Zealand Rebels. Okay. Rebels MC. Okay. Okay. Hell's Angels. The New Zealand chapter. <laughs> now, are the Hell's Angels in New Zealand, like, are they connected to the OG Hell's Angels in America? Because those are the original Hell's Angels. So are they connected to them, or is it like they just the same name or something? You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments. King Cobra. Yep. They deep. This 
this reminds me of uh, when Nip when Nipsey Hussle died, man. Because when he died, bro, so like gangs that beef for years, like sixty years, super beef, bodies everywhere, thousands of bodies. You know what I mean? Came together after Nipsey Hussle died, because it was like all types of gangs came together after Nipsey Hussle died. Obviously, you're gonna have your beefs at the end of the day, no matter what. But they all came together for that for that funeral, that passing of a legend. And so I got a feeling this dude must have been a legend, bro. Like, there has to be some uh, big backstory to this that you guys got to let me know in the comments because to have all these crews come together like this, got to be so crazy. Got to be a G. Big choppers. Look at that boy's walking it up. Pull up in the what? In the beamers? In the beamers? Yes, sir. Got the beamers. I think that's a beamer. I don't know. That. Two eight brotherhood. Headhunters, Hells Angels. Fire, dude. All right, let's see that last ride, man. Rest in peace to the boy, man. Let's check that last ride. People came out for this dude, man. I know he must have did something, bro. Somebody let me know what A A H H F F H H stand for. Hey, deep, man. Look at all these people, bro. Uh, we 
just seen this. I'm only skipping because we just seen this literally. <laughs> We gonna make it happen. I like that. I can say is clarity rest in peace to taranaki already man but he clearly influenced or you know was important to a lot of people though i don't really know much about him so I, I hope somebody gives me some good little background information in the comments but man rest in peace bro he definitely impacted people in some sort of way man that's crazy i just lost a family member a couple weeks ago so shit you know what i'm saying love the people while they're here man that's just real talk right there love them while they're here man that's all you can do that's all you can do, man. That's it, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Keep it real. Real's where it real always reaches everyone. See y'all next time. Peace.